Hey y'all, it's Niar and I'm back with another video. Today I will be talking about one of my favorite prerequisites, microbiology. Now I know microbiology is really daunting and a lot of pre-nursing students are super afraid to take micro just because we've heard horror stories like it's super hard, you'll never pass, you're studying 24-7. The latter is true but I was able to pass microbiology with flying colors and I know y'all will be able to do the same. So today I'm gonna give you some of my tips and tricks that help me pass microbio and really enjoy the class. So prior to starting the class, I bought this microbiology fact sheet and it's really nice because it comes laminated, which is awesome because you can keep it long term. It doesn't get, you know, gross and disgusting so um, especially like while you're in lab which is you know you're dealing with all those chemicals and things of that nature so it's great to have something that's laminated so you could just wipe it off it's three pages front and back and I love this because I was able to use this to supplement like more information and use this as a resource um, I didn't directly just look from this because we were provided information in class that we needed to know so I would double check to make sure that the information that your professor provides matches the information on here or whichever one that you decide to get. I picked this up in the school that I was attending their bookstore but you can pick it up off of Amazon or Barnes and Noble a lot of places sell it and it's super affordable. I believe this was six dollars so six dollars I mean you can't beat that with all the information that they give you another thing that I thought really helped me was this lab notebook that of course we had to purchase for the class but I love how my professor um, actually like wrote out things and you can see that I went a little bit crazy if this will focus with writing, you know, all over the side and highlighting everything. But that's how I really pass every quiz. So we had a lab quiz every single day. Um, and because I took a five week course, which was accelerated, I had, I believe the class Monday, Wednesday, Friday for three hours, which was a lot. But every day that, and I had lab every day. So that was a lot, but it was great because me like highlighting all of this stuff like typically when you have like when I took chem I had lab once a week so you would forget like <laughs> a lab that you did but having lab every day was really useful because I like remembered you know doing that yesterday um, because I was there four hours so <laughs> that was really great um, and definitely like highlight the things that your professor says or reads multiple times take notes because that's what helps me get 9 out of 10 10 out of 10 8 out of 10 on most of my lab quizzes and those lab quizzes speaking from experience will drop your grade dramatically if you continue to do bad so um luckily i did really really well in this micro lab so i was able to raise my grade um and because they combine you know your lecture and your lab grade together so um that was really helpful for me the next thing i want to show is this lecture notebook that my professor gave us once again we had to purchase this for the class but you can easily make this on your own so if you can see this it's just three powerpoint slides with the notes I believe PowerPoint or Google Slides, whichever platform you use, allows you to print out more than three, sometimes four or six, whichever one um, you like to use better that will help you with studying. But this really helps because you're able to focus. You're not sitting here like trying to write down everything really quick and you're not absorbing any of the information. So I love this. I also recorded all of her lectures and my professor really recommended recording the lectures. Um, some professors don't really like that but I feel like that was an essential tool for me being successful. Also um, 
I would always go back and listen to the lectures. So after class, usually I would like fill in the rest of the notes that I missed. Sometimes I would just be too tired to take notes, so I would just listen. Other times I would be taking notes and like kind of miss out on some of the things. So it's really important to just record the lecture so you can fill in your notes at your leisure and then while you're studying it's really good to listen back to all of the lectures so when we had like huge exams everybody knows like if you've taken microbio that or you're taking microbio now that like it's a lot of information and so the morning of a test I would literally just sit there and listen to her lectures or a couple of days before while I'm studying because it helps you remember the things that she says um, or the things that your professor said which sometimes like you forget and they mention like little things that they'll put on the exam but that's not physically in the PowerPoint so that's just a tip that I use that really helped me and I was like oh yeah I remember hearing her say that because I listened to the lecture multiple times another thing I recommend is purchasing one of these um, I, I got this from the Dollar Tree so it's a dollar like no excuse y'all purchase one of these it's from a file that you can use for your note cards and I also have another one this one is purple so I had two because I just had so many and I would divide them by chap um yeah by chapters that I was doing so they have a lot of like flaps in here um, that you can use but one thing that I like stand by is note cards physical note cards I personally love Quizlet when I was taking French I love to use Quizlet all the time but this is not the time to use Quizlet. It is really important to write down things so you can like recognize it when you look at it and write it down and that helps you remember things. And so um, using physical note cards helped me so much. Um, I tried using Quizlet on the first exam and I got a C was not useful when I started doing um, written note cards and note cards that I could like have in my hand physical note cards. A's on every exam from there on out. So I think it's just really important to use note cards, write down, you know, the bacteria names, um, different diseases, things of that nature that you're studying in microbio, and that will help you really remember. I probably went over my note cards every day, and I don't think that's excessive. I think that's like very much needed when you're in microbio because it's just so much information especially for me taking it as a course within five weeks an accelerated course it was just like an overload we were going through it like a chapter a day sometimes more chapters than that and you know you're gonna forget things if you don't constantly um, repeat and repetition is key so I hope those tips helped if you have any other questions please comment below uh, and tell me what video you would like me to make next and advice you need on your nursing journey hope that helps <laughs>